Hi everyone, I'm so excited to share these Viewmaster Memory Decks cards that I got from Scrap Diva Designs. They are still available, so go check them out. I'll provide the link below. I used this, this is what the die looks like, and it gives you like the little handle that's right here, the memory decks, and then the shaker elements for the viewing part. And what I did to make these is one of them is a card. So it just pops out right here. I thought it'd be really cute to use this uh, sentiment right in the middle and I just made it into a pocket. So all I did was glued, and you can use tape too, but I just glued around the edges, left that open, and it was just the perfect thing for a pocket. And then this one is a little different. I made it so that you could spin. Erica informed me that this wheel could be used with this Memory Dex card and that you can spin it. And so I just added it to the back and I made this little heart detail. And these little hearts came from this paper, but I used on the die, you have all these little hearts available. And so all I did was just placed the die in specific areas on the paper and I cut that out and used those cutouts here. And then for this, I just have been collecting all the little heart cutouts from all the projects that I've been working on and so I just keep them and then I just kind of went through that and made a little pattern. I added the love you here. Um, I just think that this is perfect for hanging little charms on. And then on this one, I just added a few little elements here. And the shaker, I just used thick foam that I got from Hobby Lobby. Today, I'm gonna show you how I made this card so that it spins in the back. And it's really simple. I'm gonna make this a little bit different. I'm not gonna turn this one into a shaker um, because I really wanna see what it looks like as a flat element and then embellished over the top. But if I was gonna turn this into a shaker, you would just cut two of these out with foam and then you have this one piece here. And I just used this one solid piece with acetate and I cut that out and then I just, all I had to do, cause it was a little bit bigger than this piece right here. So I just manually trimmed it to fit. So if you do it as a shaker, I do suggest trimming the acetate um, a little bit because it is the size of this back piece. I went ahead and prepped this wheel because it would have taken forever. But again, I just used a bunch of my old cutouts from the other projects that I was using and they just fit right back into place just like just like that what I did this has a little hole for the wheel so I just used two circle dies that I had I made sure that I cut a, hole, a piece out here and a piece out that was small enough that it wouldn't interfere with these little tiny dots and then I went ahead and glued some hearts here and some hearts here. So all I have to do now is just line it up and glue the front and the back pieces. And then you just want to line up this little notch right here. That's a really good um, indicator of where to line things up. And then just press all the way around. Okay, and then for this, you just really wanna make sure that before everything gets glued down, that this little piece is connected. So I forgot to do this the last couple of times. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that I glue that down now. Then we glue on our back viewing piece and the top piece. And just try to make sure that you have enough room around the edges. Like evenly spaced all the way around. 
just like that. So for this back piece, I like to use craft board on my projects because it's very sturdy. Uh, my Cricut cuts through it just perfectly. And then this foil is so nice. You don't have to find like a pattern, you know, a different pattern paper. You just kind of have that element right here in the foil itself. So this is what this one looks like. I also use craft board and um, craft color and uh, black and white, but this is the foil collection. So you have orange, pink, yellow, I think that's more orange, green, and blue. And I just think they're so pretty and I think elevates the projects too. So I just marked here where I wanted the middle wheel to go. And the way that I determined that out was I just wanted to make sure that the hearts could fit in this little groove, like at least three heart, like three hearts right here. And then that was it. Like if I, you can make it taller if you want, not too tall. You still have to like make sure that it hangs here, but I just liked having the three parts in view and then being able to turn it. So I'm going to grab my awl and just make a little point here. And then all you do is you, since this is going to be on the back side like this, you just make sure that this is facing the back. Your interest side is facing, facing this way. And go ahead and put a brad inside this hole, pinning the two down. So if you have a heart brad or kind of a novelty shaped brad, I would suggest gluing this down so that this stays still and it doesn't twist with the spin. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and glue the rest of this onto the back side of this. And just try to flatten that out as much as possible. And there you go. A Viewmaster memory decks with an actual spinning wheel. One more thing that I have to show you that I forgot to explain earlier was that these little hearts are all framed and I used that in this um, doily and wheel die. And it just, they just come like that in a pack of three. So you just have to cut these out three times to, to frame all the little hearts on the wheel. Um, and then that's it. Like it's so easy. You can make a whole bunch of these really quickly for all of your Galentine friends this season. I love that this, it comes with the little handle and that you can like add little dangles to make it even cuter. Um, you don't have to, it's cute on its own. And I'm really loving this, this one too. It's not a shaker, but it's still, it's super fast, super quick and still really cute. And all I have to do is just, just embellish it like however I want. So I'm gonna definitely play with that later. Um, yeah, you could just make a whole bunch of these very, very quickly. I will have Scrap Diva Designs website linked below. Go ahead and check it out. If you're going to get the Viewmaster Memory Dex card, I would definitely get the wheel for it because it is just so cute together. And please use my code, hello, it's me, Roxy10. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.